Hello students, my name is Ronald Rose Apollones and I will be your educator in arts education for grade 9. Now our lesson for today is all about the principles of art, also known as styles and techniques. Now before we proceed, I want you to check out our lesson's objective. First, to discuss the principle of art as an essential for making an artwork. Next is to identify the function of the principle of art and lastly to appreciate the artistic way in making an artwork. Now, principle of art is an essential way how to make an artwork proportionally um, have an elements of it and also to see what is to focus on this artwork. This is your guidelines how to make an artwork during or making an artwork. Now, this is what you call the principles of art. Principles of art is to represent how the artist uses elements of art to create an effect and to help convey artist's intent in the principle of art and design. From principle of art, this is your guideline, usually, to most artists how to make an artwork. Now, this is some parts of um, uh, principles of art. First one, the balance. Balance is refers to visual visual weight of the elements of composition it is a sense of painting feels stable and feels right imbalance of imbalance of the artwork causes a feeling of discomfort in the viewers as you can see on this image this kind of artwork shows the balance effect the other one make makes the similar similar way but in opposite or contrast position which is showing how do the paint paint artists to visualize to visualize their artworks by their own this is how to make equal equally balance on the artwork that they are made in now we have three kinds of balance in art first symmetry symmetry is balance ultimate balance Asymmetry is not, not in balance. And lastly, the radical symmetry or the absolute symmetry in radial form. Now, symmetry is formal balance, which is the balance in both sides of composition have same elements in the same position. As a mirror image or two sides of a face, this is how you illustrate like for some instagrammers as you can see on on their picture they want they have the night version and the light version as you can see on this picture this is a form of formal balance that you can see contrastly the day and night but in the same way of art form in the composition now we go on to asymmetry or informal balance this is the balance which is a composition is balanced to the contrast of any of the elements of art. For example, a large circle on one side of a composition might be a balance by the small square on the other side. As you can see on this image, this is a asymmetry form that usually what we call in in some artists, this is break the glass, break the glass balance image that is shown the circle part on below in the composition art form is illustrated as an asymmetry form. Contrast to the triangle and pointed shape that is an asymmetry. Now we go on to radical symmetry this which the elements are equally spaced around the central point as in the spokes of coming of the hub of a bicycle tire. tire. This is a radical symmetry as you can see on this 
picture is unstained glass. In a church that shows at the center part of it or the middle part of it shows the central point. And on the central point, different different artworks at on the circle but in a balanced form, showing on symmetry on some shapes in same form. That's what you call the radical symmetry. Next, the other principle of art shows include unity or what you call variety. It's a principle of art that to feel unified in such an element fits together comfortably. This too much unity creates monotony. Too much variety creates chaos. You need both and ideal, ideally, you want areas of interest in your composition along with the place for your eye to rest. As you can see on this image, this is the unity and variety shows on this picture. Different colors and different designs on how the illustrators show the glow of glow of the corals in the sea which is the color um, sig signifies also the the way how the variety of imagery show on this picture and the unity which is the shape of the art form shows on this picture also that makes it balanced as a form of art now, next one, we have our proportion. Proportion is how the shapes and design is shown on this picture. Proportion concerns relationship between the sizes of different parts in an artwork. For example, the width of compared to the length of the area of the sky compared to the land or the area foreground compared to the background. As you can see, you make a concern on the background and the foreground. If the painting is not in proportion well this this is not you can call proportion because the proportion is what having also in in the form of balance balance form in the background and the foreground also in the shape and size of the imagery of the picture shown that is proportion next we have also the movement Movement is your paint cannot physically move, but you can arrange the paints the way it gives illusion. Take note the illusion. Suggestion of movements. One of effective techniques in creating movements is your art be used bold and direct, directional artwork. By doing this, you can suggestively push the viewer around the painting as you please. You could also suggest the movement through the repetition or pattern. As you can see on this picture, the painting shows the ocean flows like it feels lively on this image. That is, you can see the form of waves showing back and forth that usually um, making, making these artworks um, gives illusion to you by doing um, alternate left and right movement of the the paintbrush or also in the shapes you can put it into left or right that makes movement that optically shows that the artwork is feels move now we go on to rhythm rhythm is created by the movement implies to the repetition of objects of an art in non-uniform but organized way it is related to the rhythm in music but unlike the pattern which is demand consistency the rhythm relies on the variety which is as you can see on this picture well the rhythm also run rhythmize the how the color and the shapes are formed on this design as you can see also on this picture now, the principle of art, in summary, essentially the set of criteria that which are used to explain how the visual elements are arranged in the work of art. This 
principal are probably possibly possibly the closest thing we have to set up objective criteria to, for analyzing and judging art which is the principle of art shown what the illustrator what wants to convey on their art form now we go back again to some of our points in principle of art first principle of art is rules govern how art is organized the visual elements to create our work of art which is as you can see this image image the rules and balance a principle of art concerning with arranging elements with no one part of work overpowers or seemingly heavier than any other part as you can see on the other side it is proportionally balanced now we have formal balance which is the balance where two halves our mirror image the informal balance where the balance where two unlike elements seems carry equal weight and the radical balance is object in an artwork are positioned around in a central point as you can see on this picture now we go on to other parts of principle of art is variety the principle of art concerned with combining more elements to create interest by adding slight changes next one we have proportion a principle of art concerned with the relationship of one part to another and to the whole next one we have movement the principle of art used to create the look and feel of action and to guide a viewer's eye through a work of art as you can see on the other side and lastly with them is the principle of art concerned with repeating elements to make a work seems active or to su suggest vibration now for ac our activity let's do the emphasis on design for your directions to do this emphasis on design as your subject teacher for your dlp template one paper for your activity or you can print out your D DLP form to make an artwork put some elements of art as your guide like line shapes colors texture size and space this is how do you do on emphasis on design this is your blank template art activity you can uh, ask your teacher about this blank template and lastly this is your finished product on your emphasis on design this is your guide how do you make an emphasis on design now we go on for our summative quiz identify and answer are you ready let's get started number one is a rule that governs how artists organize the visual elements to create a work of art again it is a rule that govern how the artists organize the visual elements to create a work of art what is it okay number two a principle of art concerned with arranging elements so no one part of a work overpowers or seem heavier than any other part. Again, a principle of art concerned with arranging elements so no one part of a work overpowers or seem heavier than any other part. Okay, next. Number three. A principle of art concerned with combining one or more elements to create interest by adding slight changes again a principle of art concerned with combining two or more elements to create interest and adding slight changes what is it okay we go to number four a principle of art concerned with the relationship of one part to another and to the whole Again, a principle of art is concerned with relationship of one part to another and to the whole. 
what, what it says. Lastly, number five, a principle of art concerned with repeating an element to suggest work seems active or to suggest vibration. Again, a principle of art concerned with repeating an element to suggest work seem active or to suggest vibration. Okay, are you done? This is your summative quiz answer. Number one, principle of art. Number two, balance. Number three, variety. Number four, proportion. Number five, rhythm. Did you got perfect answer? Okay, that's good. Okay, thank you very much for this lesson for today. I hope you learned more. And if you have any question, kindly check out arelianalms.com. See you on my next clip.